All right, today we're going to practice vocabulary for describing pictures, and all of these pictures are related corporations. Let's go. The first picture. Our vocabulary is boardroom, conference, formality, implement, mandatory, objectives, team, lead. And in this picture, we can see a group of people in some kind of meeting or conference. So let's practice using these words. Boardroom. I can see some colleagues sitting in the boardroom. Conference. Today, we have a conference at 3 p.m. Formality. Signing this contract is just a formality. Implement. The company is going to implement new restrictions. Mandatory. Completing this training is mandatory. Objectives. Let me tell you about our company's objectives for this quarter. Team. We have a great team here. Lead. I hope that you can lead us into the future. Okay, if you don't know some of those words, go ahead and look them up. But I'm going to show you how to use them in a paragraph to describe this picture. There is a man leading a team conference in a boardroom. Perhaps he's going over general formalities and company objectives. It is possible that he will teach his colleagues how to implement the new mandatory practices. Okay, so what do you think about that? Can you confidently use all of those vocabulary words? It's very important in a business setting. Let's move on to picture number two. And the vocabulary are as follows. Minutes, agenda, fence, cross-legged, multitask, busy, ambitious, determined. Okay, in this context, minutes is not referring to the time. It's referring to the notes from a previous meeting. So you can say, I am reviewing the minutes from yesterday's meeting. Agenda. This is kind of the schedule or the plan for a meeting. Let me email you tomorrow's meeting's agenda. Fence. Pretty simple. This guy is sitting cross-legged on a fence. Multitask. By chatting on the phone and writing an email, it is clear that he is multitasking. Busy. People in corporate positions are often busy. Ambitious. I'm very ambitious and I'm going to get this new job. Determined. Clearly, this man is determined to get a promotion. Okay, so let's look at a paragraph. This ambitious young man is sitting cross-legged on a fence in a park. We can see that he's busy and determined to complete his work because he's multitasking with a computer and phone. Perhaps he is reviewing the minutes from yesterday's meeting or writing the agenda for his new project. So it's very important that you can use these words in the business English environment, okay? And there's one more picture, let's check it out. Steps, caffeine, break, hijab, posing, organizing, planning, proposal. So steps. Uh, this businesswoman is sitting on the steps. Caffeine. She is quite tired, which is why she's drinking some caffeine. Break. Um, how many breaks do you have during the day? Hijab. She is wearing a blue hijab. Posing. She's looking directly at the camera, thus posing for the picture. Organizing. She's using her phone because she is organizing a meeting. Planning. It's important that your planning takes place on time. Proposal. 
please submit to me your business proposal. All right, let's see the paragraph. So this woman is having a break, sitting on the steps and enjoying her coffee. She has been working hard all morning, so she needs caffeine. She's wearing a hijab and a suit and is posing for a picture. Perhaps she is organizing her new business proposal or doing some planning for her project. So three pictures all about business and the corporate world. So as always, your task is to write down all of these words and use them in a paragraph to describe these pictures and then try to incorporate them into your everyday spoken English. Okay, good luck.